Hey guys, it's me, Carla. Um, I'm sitting at Santa Monica at a bench simply because I wanted to come out and film a video for you guys. But I just want to talk about one thing, and that's obviously that I passed the NCLEX on my fourth attempt, okay? Um, the first attempt was actually kind of long a long time ago um, in comparison to when I first took it to when I actually t took it and passed it. I felt that I was a bit more prepared and that I knew more stuff, but I didn't walk out of there feeling 100% confident that I passed. I honestly walked out of there feeling like I failed. Um, I'm not sure if that's like the normal response that a lot of people have when they take their NCLEX um, and they pass. So that's how I felt. I didn't know that I actually passed. And so when I found out that I did, I mean, obviously it was exciting. Um, but right now, I mean, after, life after NCLEX is basically you're just looking for jobs. And so life after the I mean, yeah, it's exciting that I have my RN license, but I'm still not really working as a nurse yet. I'm still applying to new grad programs, and I'm also trying to finish my um, RN and BSN program. Things I used to pass in CLEX, the fourth attempt, was obviously U World. I actually finished the whole test bank, and that was like 2,000 2, questions. It took me about was maybe two and a half months uh, or three I'm not sure I'll have to check um, but what my school actually did was that they finally provided us with the free U world account and mine is still activated and it expires in October so I really don't use it anymore but I do plan on going back to U world and taking notes the other um, resource that I used to pass was the Saunders and then I also watched a lot of videos from um, Simple Nursing as well as um, some other YouTubers I can link them below uh, so those two really did kind of help me uh, enforce the information and then the most important thing I used differently this time I would say is I actually started watching um, high NCLEX High Yield, which is basically a free um, NCLEX tutoring service thing that they do every Wednesday on Zoom for free. And I actually been watching those for a long time, um, but they also can tutor you and the guy's name is Dr. Z. And he actually can tutor you guys, but you would have to pay like a three month course or just depending on your services, you would have to pay if you want like individual um, Zoom sessions, but what I did was I utilized like the free stuff that NCLEX High Yield has, and they also have a YouTube channel which you can like look at old lectures. But I most definitely was always on every Wednesday for the free Zoom. And then the last things that I believe did not work for me this time was Remar. I purchased Remar, and it just didn't feel like the information was enforced. Purchase Remar, um, I think it gave me like a three month subscription and they actually sent me a book, but it just didn't work out for me. I just felt like it just wasn't really teaching me um, or just going into details of like exactly what I needed. I also used Kaplan before but I felt like Kaplan also just didn't work out for me. Um, another thing that I did use differently was Archer Review. Archer was obviously more affordable. I just felt like the questions were more like Archer style because Archer is more like straight to the point and that's how NCLEX really is. I believe that you wrote questions are sort of like too much fluff. I mean, they're obviously great, like the rationales are great to use, but I just felt like it was too much fluff. Also, I, like I mentioned before, I did finish UWorld, and my scores were ranging from um, 
70%. That was my overall score. My scores on New World actually were averaging between um, 70s was my overall total score. But at the end, it was like a 69 simply because I was doing like the incorrect questions. So my overall score just kept going down since I was just, you know, doing those for up until remediation. The one thing I did obviously that a little helped me get into the mode of NCLEX was actually taking Procard exams. So I took the two U World exams and I got a, um, not a high, I don't, well, I'm not sure if I got a high or a pass. But I definitely got a pass, so I will just insert that and I'll also insert like my real scores. Hey guys, so these are my scores for the predictor exam. So the first one I took, I got a high chance of passing with the 49 percentile. And then shortly after, I took this one two weeks before my NCLEX. And then the second exam, I took and I got a 52 percentile with the high chance of passing as well, and I got a 61%, and I took this a week before my NCLEX. So I kind of spaced them out um, very close to my NCLEX date so I can see exactly where I was, and I got a pass on both of them, so that obviously made me feel more confident. And I recommend that you guys take this in a quiet environment. Even at, at a library can help mimic the environment for the NCLEX testing center. And definitely don't take out your phone, just keep a whiteboard with you and just basically mimic the real life thing. So guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how my scores were for preparation of the NCLEX. So as you can see, I finished every question in the question bank. My overall percentage was 67. It was originally 7%, but I kept doing the incorrect questions up until my NCLEX date, so it went down. Here you can see I'm ranked 94%. And then these are the overall percentage that I would get when I would do the practice exam. So for example, I would do 75 here. Questions of leadership and they, my score would be 77% or 73% for 40 questions of endocrine. And then 75 again on tutored for just the overall questions, which is 87 which is pretty high. I think that was actually my highest. And as you can see, my scores were very um, not low. And as you can see, they were like high 60s to 70s to maybe even 80s. And my lowest would be like maybe the 50s. So as you can see here, this is the scores that I got. And honestly, it helped me gain the confidence to pass the NCLEX. So here's another 75 that I did good on. So yeah, I did a lot of exams, as you can see. Here's another one, fundamental, 75%, which is pretty good. And and it's timed too, so if you put timed, it'll get you in the mode of NCLEX. So 75 again, timed, and I got a 71%. And as you can see, I started in April 17, 2021, and I tested in June 5th, 2021. So that was about three months preparations so yeah and then another thing that i definitely um took advantage of was the nurse achieve and the actual new world exams because those actually got me in the mode of NCLEX and i took um i made an effort to take a proctor exam every sunday so I can see my baseline if I like pass or if I didn't. And then if I didn't, I would have to remediate the questions. And that's basically what I did, guys. So my main top three would be your world, NCLEX high yield, and then YouTube videos. And then I would put the proctor exams for number four. But those were like the most top four things that I use. And then all additional things that I needed to look at like Saunders or NCLEX um, HESI book or just other NCLEX stuff I definitely looked at um, but the most thing that you actually have to do is you have to practice a lot of questions okay um, also SATA SATA definitely was one of my worst nightmares 
but what I did was like I actually took the sad question and I was able to break it down into a true or false statement and that actually helped me to um, basically answer them with more ease rather than just you know dreading the awful saddest which we usually always get um, and then also my attempt I went all the way to 145 and in between then I literally ran out of time and I thought that I was I didn't know what to do I didn't know if I should continue or if I should let the timer run out but what I did is was I continued and I kind of like zoomed through the last 20 questions which kind of made me feel like I failed the exam that's why I didn't feel too confident but I definitely um, tried the piercing you pop-up and I got the good one finally so that actually made me think that I actually didn't fail until I actually got my official score and I saw that I passed. So guys, if I can do it, I think anyone can do it. Even on their fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever, however, however attempts it takes you, you can definitely uh, pass this exam if you have the like motivation to do so. And you know, don't give up because if I would have given up, I wouldn't have gone to the end of the finish line, which is basically where I'm at right now. So definitely don't give up guys keep pushing I know it sucks but you'll get there eventually so yeah guys the things that did not work for me I would have to rank would be Kaplan um, and just going through your world without actually like reading the rationales or doing a lot of continuous questions and not really grasping the information or trying to attempt to do questions without knowing much of the diseases and like topics because that isn't going to help you if you just keep on doing questions without actually like learning the foundation um and then also definitely um work on fundamentals because that's what's part on inclex is mostly fundamentals and then part of in their delegations there is a textbook by Le charity and it's literally all uh priority and delegation I definitely would suggest that um, you guys work on that if that's not really your um, highest place that you guys score high in. So I would say foundations, priority and delegation, those questions like who do you see first, definitely work on SATA. And then once you kind of get the, your scores going up to maybe a 60, I would say maybe you're ready to test because my scores were like 33 when I first started studying and then towards the end they actually were getting really high I had some like 70s some like 78s some 69s so you will see progress guys as long as you put in the effort anyways guys I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video I hope you know this can inspire you to get your RN license but definitely don't give up guys keep the motivation up and for those watching who have failed just know that i've been in this position and i'm sure everyone a lot of people have as well so definitely get back to studying and don't give up and keep a good energy and you'll also make it so yeah don't forget to subscribe comment rate and all that stuff bye guys